What's going on guys? I got a message from a subscriber asking if I could do a video on how to use a voltmeter. The different ways to use one. He's fairly new to the trade. So that's what I'll do. I'll run through some basic situations, you know, and there's going to be some some tricky things that come up that I'm not going to be able to cover here, but I'll go through some basic stuff that I'll run into. So this is what I use. I use a Craftsman, but I also like the field piece. I've had this thing since 2007, so yeah, I love this. It's been good to me. This is your uh, your voltage here setting. This is if uh, continuity. If you want to see if something has continuity through it, ohms and capacitor. Cap stands for capacitor on the field piece. It'd be MFD for microfarads and amp readings. I've already done a video about these blower control boards. But I figured I'd go into a few more situations with them that I didn't cover on that other video. So let's say you're not getting anything coming on in the air handler. The air handler is inside the apartment. First thing you do is you take your voltmeter, put it on AC voltage. Make sure it says AC and not DC on the screen. First I'd make sure I'd have power coming in. 240 volts. And I would touch the common and the 240 here. And if you don't have 240, then you've got a problem with the breaker. You need to go back to the breaker and see what's going on. Or your lugs up top. Okay, so let's say you do have 240. Then you check for 24 volts. All an air conditioner is pretty much, guys, is, is low voltage controlling high voltage. Low voltage closes the switches and connects the high voltage and turns everything on. So next, after I know I've got 240 coming in. Okay, we're good here go to 24 volt side let's say uh, you don't have 24 volts here you're gonna need to replace the transformer but let's say you do have 24 volts so you got power coming out and into here this is the power coming in it comes out here into here so you do have low voltage coming out of the transformer so you know you got it here so what you want to do is test here. Make sure you have power coming out. You pull the wires off and you can touch here and here with your voltmeter. Just like this. Now you're going to have to do this with the electricity on. So be careful. It's like a deadly game of that board game operation. Touch R and C and if you don't have 24 coming out of these terminals, you're going to need to replace the board. And you can also do continuity as well, and I'll show you. All right, I've got a, a bad blower board here that I took out of a unit. Now set your meter to continuity, this setting here. Make sure it beeps. And you touch X, F, M, R, and the R. I've got no continuity. All right, I'll, I'll grab a good one. This is a good one that I pulled out of a box. See how that beeps? That means you got continuity, so that's good. And this one is bad. So if you touch between X, F, M, R, and R, you need to replace the board. You can touch the commons too. So the commons good. So that's how you use your meter with this at the low voltage side. Alright, if you've watched my other video about the blower control board, you know that this stands for common. This is COM, common terminal here. This is normally open and this is normally closed. So let's say Miss Johnson calls and says that her air handler fan is not turning off. And you know the thermostat's good. You come, get your meter, put it on continuity, Keep it on continuity. And if you touch common and the normally open and it beeps, you need to replace the board because the switch is welded shut and it's not opening to shut the fan off. So you're going to have to replace it. So this is normally closed and common and it should beep when I touch it. Yeah. So if you touch here and it beeps like you touch here, replace it. And let's say the fan's not coming on at all. 
you know everything's good, the fan's good, thermostat's good, capacitor's good. Just make sure you have two, 240 volts here between these two. If you don't have 240, you need to replace the board. So this is the power coming in, the 240 coming in. You need 240 coming out of the common here. And if you don't have it, replace the board. So that pretty much covers this thing. There'll be some other weird stuff that you'll see out into the field, but this is the basic things that I've I run across. Yeah, dudes, I forgot to mention when you're testing for continuity, you don't have to have the power on. So you can turn the power off. But when you're testing for voltage to see if you got 240 or 24 volts or 120 volts, you're going to have to have the power on. So just be careful. It's like a, a deadly game of operation. So yeah, just be careful, dudes. But yeah, you don't have to have the power on when you're testing for continuity. If an outside condenser is not coming on, you can check the cap. That's the first thing I do is I check the capacitor and make sure it's good. This is 35 microfarads. This is for the hermetic, the compressor. And this is 5 microfarads. This is for the fan. This, give it, this just gives it a boost to turn it on. And to test one, pull your voltmeter out. Mine has a cap for a capacitor, but the field pieces and most of them have MFD, which stands for microfarad. So put it on cap. And you can see the, the C there, that's for common. That's fan. I don't know if you can see the FAN there on the bottom underneath the, the round black circle. And that's hermetic. So put, put one lead on common. We're going to check the fan, so I should get five on my meter. Put one on common and one on fan. There it is. 5.06. And now I'm going to check the compressor, the Herm. One lead on common, one on Herm. Should get 35. There we go, 35.69. Now you don't have to have the power on to do this. Cut the power off and pull all the wires off. I just pull them all off just so there's no weirdness. So that's how you use your meter to test a capacitor. And if it's below 35 or way below 5 or way below 35, change it out. It's a bad capacitor. That's another basic situation with the caps. All right, moving on to the outside unit. This is the contactor. This would be on the condenser unit outside. So let's say the condenser is not coming on. You check the capacitor, you know it's good. Make sure you have 240 volts coming in. You're going to have to do this with the power on. Just touch the bottom. And if you have 240 coming in, check the top. If you don't have 240 coming out of the top, change the contactor. And make sure this is pushed in too. This is the, the low voltage. That's pushed in. And the capacitor is good, but just, the unit's not coming on. Just make sure you have 240 volts coming in. Touch here and here. All right. Let's say uh, you don't have 24 volts on the sides here. This is where the, the low voltage comes in, on the sides. You don't have 24 volts over here. Go to your thermostat and wire nut red, green, and yellow together. And if, the, if this pushes in the contactor, it means you got a bad thermostat. There's a whole slew of issues with low voltage in these things. I'm just going over a basic, basic stuff. All right, let's see. Um, you can also let me turn it off. Set your meter to ohms. Let's say you let's say you do have 24 volts on the sides here, but the it's not pushing in. Set your meter to ohms and ohm it out. I think these particular contactors do 18 ohms. Just touch the sides where the low voltage comes in, and you should get around 18. So yeah, this says 19. So yeah. This would be so a that's good pretty much a basic thing with, with these uh, contactors. Like I said, there'd be other weird things, but that's the basic basic stuff I check. If you, 
Now if you want to check and see if you have power to an outlet, just put your leads into the outlet and you should have around 120, 122 volts. Put it on meter and make sure you're on AC too guys. I've had some guys call me and they're getting these crazy readings and I'm like, is your meter on AC or DC? And they say, oh my gosh, it's been on DC. So just make sure you're aware of what, what, what it's on, AC or DC. So that's how you test an outlet. See if it has power with your with your voltmeter. If you don't have power, you got other issues. And like I said earlier, if you're checking for voltage, you're gonna have to do it with the power on, so be real careful. So let's say you've you put it in and you don't have power here. You're getting no power to an outlet. Take the cover off and check the screws. Make sure you have power coming in. The brass B for black and the silver is for the white wire. So B for B, S for W. B for black, silver for white. So you're not getting power to an outlet. Make sure you're getting power to it. And if you are getting, if you touch the sides where the wires are and you're getting power to it, you got a bad outlet. Just Put in a new outlet and you should be good to go. But if you don't have power coming in, you've got other issues, you're going to need to trace it back to other outlets. Might have a loose neutral, might have a bad breaker. There's all kind of issues. So I'm just going over the basics. But that's how you use your voltmeter to test an outlet. So that's it, guys. That's the basic stuff, what I run into using a voltmeter. I hope this helps some of you guys out. I can't go through every situation because there's some brain smashers that... That just comes with the job. But that's the basics. And uh, I hope this helps. And uh, you guys you guys running around out there with no meters are killing me, man. Go out there and get you a doggone volt me voltmeter. Y'all killing me. You know, sometimes you guys will call me and I'll say, well, do you have 240 coming into the unit? And they say, well, we don't know. And I say, well, test it with your meter. Oh, I don't have a meter. Get you a meter, guys. You're killing me. All right. I'll put links to meters in the description below on this video where you can go get you one. I've got them on my website, which meter that I like, and you know, they, they run over a hundred bucks, but dude, they help you out so much. No, no stress, I mean, if you learn how to use it, they'll talk to you, all right? Thank you all for watching The Dirty Maintenance Show.